Hello my friends, welcome to Bible and Revelations. This is um, episode 64E on Daniel um, 7. So, um, yesterday I was in Eureka Springs with my kids and it was great. My daughter is like a tour guide and she takes us to different places. Eureka Springs is an hour drive from here, hour 15 minutes. Anyway, let's get right to it. <clears throat> Daniel 7, verse 15. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was distressed within on account of it. And the very visions of my head began to frighten me. I went up close to one of those who were standing, that I might request from him reliable information on all this. And he said to me, as he went on to make known to me the very interpretation of the matters. As for these huge beasts, because they are four, there are four kings that will stand up from the earth. But the holy ones of the supreme one will receive the kingdom and they will take possession of the kingdom for time indefinite. Even for time indefinite upon times indefinite. So the Supreme One, uh, so God is going to take over forever and ever and ever. <clears throat> then it was that I desired to make certain concerning the four beasts, which proved to be different from all the others, extraordinarily fearsome, the teeth of which were of iron, and the claws of which were of copper, which was devouring and crushing, <clears throat> and which was treading down even what was left with its feet. And concerning the ten horns that were on its head, and the other horn that came up, <clears throat> and before which three fell. So there's ten horns on the head, then a little one comes up, and three of the horns fall. So there's ten kings, and then another one comes, killing three kings as it takes over. Even... Um, that came up and before which three fell. Even that horn that had eyes and a mouth speaking grandiose things and the appearance of which was bigger than that of its fellows. So the, little, the horn that came up behind became to be the biggest one. I kept on beholding when that very horn made war upon the holy ones and it was prevailing against them until the Ancient of Days came and judgment itself was given in favor <clears throat> of the Holy Ones, of the, of the Supreme One. And the definite time arrived that the Holy Ones took possession of the kingdom itself. This is what he said. As for the fourth beast, <clears throat> there is a fourth kingdom that will come to be on the earth. That will be different from all the other kingdoms. It will devour all the earth. It will trample it down and crush it. And as for the ten horns, out of that kingdom, there are ten kings that will rise up. And still another one will rise up after them. And he himself will be different <clears throat> from the first ones. And three kings he will humiliate. And he will speak even words against the Most High, and he will harass continually the Holy Ones themselves of the Supreme One. And he will intend to change times and law. They will be given into his hand for a time, and times and a half. And the court itself proceeded to sit and his own rulership they finally took away in order to annihilate him and to destroy him totally. 
and the kingdom and the rulership and the grandeur of the kingdoms under all the heavens were given to the people who are the holy ones of the supreme one their kingdom is an indefinitely lasting kingdom and all the rulerships will serve and obey even them up to this point is the end of the matter as for me Daniel my own thoughts kept frightening me a great deal so that my very complexion changed in me but the matter itself I kept in my own heart well that's the end of Daniel 7 <clears throat> so um, we'll read the concordance notes Daniel 7, the Antichrist. One of the most popular discussions of theologians, theologians is trying to identify the Antichrist, spoken of by Daniel and John. Everyone and everything, from individual Roman leaders to the whole Catholic system, from the Pope to Oliver Cromwell, from Hitler to John F. Kennedy, from Henry Kissinger to Judas Iscariot. These people have all been accused of being the Antichrist. <laughs> these people and organizations. So people have been uh, guessing. They think it was the Roman rulers, uh, the Catholic Church is the Antichrist, uh, Oliver Cromwell was the Antichrist, or Hitler, John F. Kennedy, Henry Kissinger, Judas Iscariot. People have said Trump, Obama, Biden, um, Reagan, I think I guess every president is accused of it. Um, is um, people speculate that that is the Antichrist? I read somewhere I don't remember where I have to look it up. But I think the Antichrist is supposed to be a very good-looking man, like a like a movie star, like. Um, you know, like Brad Pitt or something. Anyway, in Revelation 13, 18, we're told the number of the Antichrist is 666. People have tried to figure out who the Antichrist is by playing number games. And the truth is, anyone can be the Antichrist by that method. You only have to follow three simple rules. If the proper name does not work, add a title. If the if it does not work in English, try Hebrew, Greek, or Latin. If none of those things work, cheat on the spelling. <laughs> yeah, so I guess you could bend the rules and the stuff um, any way you can. And um, say anybody is the Antichrist. I'm going to have to stop here. But I just wanted to say I am... Um, going to change my videos here uh, in the near future they will be uh, I've figured out a way to make them longer without having to buy a new camera the new camera was uh, well last time I checked five hundred dollars but I figured out a way to do it where I don't have to sit in my living room I'm gonna do it from my computer it'll be um, an avatar of me with various backgrounds but uh, I'll probably go more like 15 or 20 minutes because this 10 minute um, um, limit on this camera is inconvenient and that this way I could I don't have to be in front of my TV uh, I can do it uh, from anywhere I'm at on, on my laptop so that that's that'll be coming shortly but I'm gonna finish the Bible and I'll probably just start over again or another um, supporting book that goes along with the Bible maybe concordance or something alright God bless you 
Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.